Hi, welcome back to the cabin everyone. Hope everyone's keeping well. Wouldn't want them to scooch down here a bit, Anna. <laughs> I've had a parcel come today, so I think I know what this is. Kev's trapped me again. He's looking after me these days, isn't he? Let's have a look. So this is what he's got me. Right. If you remember the other week, Kev bought me a new monitor, which is on the camera now that I'm talking to you on, projection monitor, so I can see myself clearly. Right, and he also got me uh, a small rig adapter that I can tilt it better than the one you get with it, because it's not very good the one you get with it. Anyway, if you remember in the last video, I think it was the last video, the one before, I told you that I bought Kev an iPad as a present, right? Because his iPad that he's got, he actually has to, he had, to, he had two in his bedroom and he had them on uh, extendable arms so he used to when he was in bed he had one here and one here and he was like he was like off Star Trek and he's there tapping away at them so but they were very old ones because when Kev come see me he only brought his laptop with him he didn't have an iPad or anything like that he didn't have an iPhone or anything like that so I got him an iPhone and uh, my brother's got him an iPhone as well, my brother's going to be posting up a new, new phone for him. And also, uh, I gave him two pads, older pads I had. Well, they were old, old, they were like the iPad Air 3 and then I, iPad Air, whatever it was anyway. But anyway, there were two of them. They were working fine, but they, they've reached their age now. So I organised to get him. So what he did was, he told me to order myself as a present, which is very kind of you, Kev, if you're watching, another monitor. Because this camera that you might be able to see, yeah, this one, I wanted to put one on it, a monitor on it. So the other camera that I've got down there, that's got a monitor, it's got a small one, so I don't need a monitor like that. So I've got all the monitors I need now. So, very kind of you Kev, so thank you very much. So I'm going to show you the monitor, because I didn't show you on the video the one that I'm using now. So I'll show you this one. So what this is, it's just, this part here is a small, great, small rig adapter. Right, I'll show you this. Can I get it open? Oh my heck. You know, I've got an unbelievable amount of cardboard. Oh, I'm going to be all right for fire for ages. So this is it here. Right. This is it. Small rig adapter. Hopefully you can see it. So obviously that's a shoe fit in there. So that'll go on the camera. And then obviously that goes in there and then you can tilt it as well. So it tilts backwards and forwards. So it's, so it's going to be better. So, so hopefully we'll get this going. I've got plenty of jobs I'm going to be organised doing today. I rung up Jusons. I meant to ring them up um, the other day to order the timber. Because we had a delivery of timber about a week and a half ago. So I was supposed to be, which Kev kept reminding me, but I forgot, to ring them up to order some more timber. So... I'm struggling here, aren't I? So, anyway, I rung them up today. Well, last last night. So I rung them up and I've ordered some barrel boards so I can finish doing the trim inside the cabin extension and also some sacking boards for outside to put round the edges to seal it off and some battens to do around the top as well. So this is the monitor here. That's it. That's a monitor, and then you put a power pack battery in the back that goes into it there, and you press a button somewhere. That's it, and it should power up. So that's it there. It's a good monitor, so I'm going to fit it all now. I'm going to show you how it comes with. This isn't a product review, by the way. <laughs> I'm just showing you this uh, monitor. So you get this visor for it as well cable in which you need and I forgot how this visor fits on it now 
Oh, it's Velcro, isn't it? That's a cable in. Aha, it's full bit, it's full bit. This is it here. Right, so this. Honestly, it's a really good product this, I like this product. That's why I'm kind of showing how good it is. You always do a promotion on a product that you know is a good product. That's the difference, isn't it? Hey, that's it, it's good, isn't it? But the only, the only thing I don't like about it, so if you are watching company, then the other thing I would say is you spent money on making a really good monitor but you've put that crappy fitting in to fit it to the to the shoe of the camera and they're really crap these they break in no time so shame on you for that job after spending so much money on getting a really good monitor now I'm going to set this up and I'll show you in a sec give me a sec so this is the rig set up so I've got the sorry Rode mic Pro and then I have this just gone off. It's just gone off. Don't know why, but it has. It's just gone off. So, so that's it there. That's it all set up. Really, mic. So I'll be using this for filming. So this will go on this tripod here, and also I'm hoping to get a gimbal, um, a filming gimbal. Well, a tracking gimbal actually, so Paul don't complain. But it's to fit the DSLRs, so I'm hoping to get one in the next few months. So, so at the moment I'll be just using it like this. So, it, isn't it? It's a good bit of kit. Right, I'm going to knock it off. So, hopefully, you can see this. This is the setup I have now with that monitor. Now, hopefully, I'll see it. So, that's my Canon camera, that's my microphone, and then that. Hopefully it will be clear the image. I all, I'm hoping it is. So that's the monitor, 7 inch monitor. So I really, really like this monitor. I've got two of these now. Oh, falling. And then that's the battery that goes in on the back. You actually don't get a battery with it when you buy it. You don't get this elasticated cable either. You've got to buy that separate. It's like a long straight cable but it's quite long so it gets in the way so I bought these got this online so that's that so that's about that so today like I say I'm going to be doing some jobs outside and I'm going to be uh, doing some filming of the jobs so I'm going to start doing some it's in the way now that isn't it I'm going to start putting some trim up outside because like I said I've got to wait till Monday next week for the barrel boards to come because I didn't get any barrel boards when I ordered this last lot of wood so I need the barrel boards Kev's bought some foam to put all the way around in the cracks to seal them off as well so I'll put the foam down well I'll put the foam in all the cracks in the walls when I get the barrel boards so I know where I'm doing and where it's going and I'm going to be doing the trimming and also I've still got to build them shelves a different room from all my books to go on because I've got quite a lot of books so I want to move them bring them in there as well right I'll see you a bit later on in video catch you in a bit I've mentioned before in the last few videos that Kev's been unwell right he's been feeling really really weak he's had no energy when he stands up he's been losing his balance he's really really been unwell and that's truthfully he's been in a bad way so but in the last three or four days he's been feeling a lot better in himself which is great news now he's been potting around doing jobs outside i've had an issue with one of my generators so he's had a tinker around and he's fixed it right because we've we've got about four generators and all four weren't working properly so he's fixed the fixed the mini one 
So at least we've got one generator if something happens. But like I say, all last winter we never had a generator on once. So we're really lucky that way. We got through the entire winter and we've actually got this year more uh, power stations to hold power than what we had last year. So I'm fingers crossed, fingers crossed we're going to be all right again. So, cut a long story short, I've got the book off Kevin now, right? So I've been in a bad way and myself. And I'm being honest, I have. I've, I've been had no energy, I've been feeling weak all the time, dizzy, a lot. So all week, if you remember the beginning of this video, I had a red t-shirt on. See, I wonder if you noticed. And I said I was going to get up and do some jobs, right? So after finishing that filming on that video, it was early hours in the morning, so I went to bed. When I got up, oh, I felt unwell. So for all week, I've been feeling not so good. I'm feeling a lot better in myself today, in all fairness. So I'm going to be honest with you, while I've been really ill, Kev's carried me, to be fair. He's done all the jobs, he's looked after everything, he's potted around, he's done everything, looked after everything. He's been a really good friend and a good mate. And if you're watching Kev, thank you so, so much. Now, even though I weren't feeling, feeling that good, I went to the hospital this week because I had to see a doctor about my foot. Because you know I've been having an operation on my foot and I've had problems. Anyway, he's put me back on the waiting list to have another operation. So they're going to amputate my toe, <laughs> amputate my toe this time. So they got, they're determined to get it done right, aren't they? So I'm going to take my toe off and hopefully I'm going to be all right. Recovery is eight week again, so Kev says he'll look after everything. He's a really good mate. So again, Kev, if you're watching, thank you so, so much. Now, at the beginning of the week, even though I felt iffy and I had been really unwell, I decided in the other room we, where the roof is, since we fitted the roof it's been leaking it's been the leaks got a bit worse and worse over time so kev diy kev remember diy kev has been going on the roof and he's told me he's been putting these patches on to seal it and he's done a really good job he says sealing it right so i'm thinking if this water is getting worse with leaking he's doing something wrong so anyway while kev was unwell in bed i went up on the roof <laughs> oh my god you've never seen that like it you have not seen nothing like it. Some of that carry on film. So I got up there, I thought, oh God. So I managed to pull it all off and I managed to layer it like you would do a roof without. I've done it so it all layers down. So I've done that, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I can't guarantee that it's not gonna leak now. If it does leak, I know where it is leaking from in all fairness, so I do know to fix it. So I've done that this week. Now what I wanted to do, which I forgot because I were unwell, I wanted to take my camera up and film me fixing it, right? But by the time I got on the roof and I got my stuff ready and I were organised on the roof, I thought, oh no, I forgot my phone on my camera. So it's really a stupid thing because Kev were in bed. He were feeling unwell. I didn't even have my phone. I were iffy and I was on the roof. So it weren't a really good idea, were it? Now also, because I'm not being so good, then where we get our water from, we have a well in the woodland and it's gravity fed and the holding tank's over there, right? And then we have it pumped in here. Now there's no filtration system at all, so we're just drinking literally water from the ground, well water. It's clear water, it's alright. But I'm being now getting to the stage where I'm wondering if the reason we're picking a lot of these bugs up, we don't have a good immune system because we don't go out, we don't go anywhere. And when I do, I seem to pick a bug up because I've got a low immune system and Kev's exactly the same. So we're, like, if you live in a town or a city, then your body's bombarded with bugs all the time and it fights them off, you don't get them. But if you live in the countryside, you don't see anybody from one week to the next. When you do into, come into contact with a bug, you pick it up straight away. It's actually your your system in your body and it gives you the bugs straight away which most people will fight off right remind me i've got something to tell you in a minute right so i'm wondering if it's the water as well that there's bugs maybe in the water so i've had a couple of com companies contact me in the last few weeks wanting to do product reviews well one of them is a water filtration system so I'm waiting for it to come and I'm going to be doing a product review on it. It's a really good product and the, the blitz in the internet with it, all off gridders and everything. So I'm going to be doing the product review on that. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up in the next few weeks. Now, when I said, remind me, right, remind me, I've got something funny to tell you. <laughs> this is absolute true story, right? Kev, 
came in to the in the living room the other day he said i've been thinking Ian. now kev he, he thinks of right weird bizarre stuff in his head and then he comes in he says it to me and i think where's he got that from he come in he says i've been thinking Ian, you know because of these bugs again i said yeah he says i've been i've decided i don't want you going anywhere i went what do you mean you don't want me going anywhere no, I don't want you getting any taxis going to Stram out and I, I, I don't want you going on ambulance, I don't want you going anywhere, coming into contact with anybody. I went, right. I said, why is that? He says, well, I, I've seen on the news about this monkeypox or mpox, right? I went, yeah. He said, well, I'm worried you might get it and pass it to me. <laughs> I couldn't believe him. I told my brother, he burst out laughing at straight when I told him. He's a cracker, isn't he? Why do you get stuff like this from? There's a lot of mpox in Stranraer, isn't there? You know what I mean? So he's so comical when he thinks of things. So so that's about all the news for now. Now, before I go, I was watching a YouTube video, obviously, because I've been in bed not well. And I, I don't know who it was by. It was by this motivational speaker and, his speaker. and he said that in this video, that live your life and make it spectacular because you're only here once. And do you know it's right that? I've remembered that from watching it and I thought, do you know, he's bang on right. And for me, this is my spectacular life. I live in a cabin, middle of nowhere, half a mile to my nearest neighbour. I've got a big cabin now with all the extension. I've got my friend who lives here. I've known Kev since I was about 17. We used to go to all nightclubs, get all birds and everything back in old days. When we lived in bands, oh, we used to have a great time. We right? used to be doing pub crawls every day, all sorts. We had a great life, honestly. So, so I'm living the dream here, and at least I can share it with my friend as well, so that's even better, isn't it? Now, before I go, if you could, like, subscribe, and share in this video. Please do that. Please leave a comment. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you're new to this channel, and it's the first time you've watched this, my videos, or you've watched them before, but you've not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really will help the channel to grow. As it stands, as today when this has been filmed, I've got 45,500 and something, I'm not quite sure which, subscribers. So thank you so much for all the all of you who subscribed recently and all those who subscribed before, if that makes any sense. Thank you so much. I will do everything I can to uh, earn your respect for subscribing, so thank you. If you could put thumbs up in the video, please do that as well, it really helps as well. I will see you next week back down at the cabin. I've got a delivery of one coming Monday, so when that comes, I can start cracking on. I've got some foam, Kev's bought some foam to fill in the cracks all the way around, and then I'll put the barrel boards over it to seal it. On the outside, I'm going to seal the outside up, so it's going to get done this week, well, next week. I'm going to get it all done, film it, and you're going to get a video. Also, we have a Patreon section as well. If anybody's interested in supporting the channel, it's the best way to support us if you want to do. It's £2.20 a month. You can cancel at any time, even if you just have it a month, cancel. All money raised goes back into the channel the way it does. I promise you it does not go in my back pocket. I buy building materials plus other things I need as well, like camera equipment, stuff like that. And I really appreciate all the help and support you give us with that honestly it really really means a lot and i want to thank everybody everybody in the patreon section because i i really am grateful for what you've done for me and i dedicate this video and every video that i make to the patreon section because without your support this channel wouldn't be possible it really wouldn't so thank you very much and i'll see you next week back down at the cabin <laughs>